the moral missing thread. And I'm back again with another reaction video. That's right, another reaction video. Um, it, hey, if you're new to this channel, if this is your first uh, experience here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. If you're returning, and if you're, you know, a regular, you know how it goes down here, and I'm glad you're still here. Uh, so, yeah, this is, this is another one from uh, the Patreon request series. This one comes from Skull Collector, and uh, this is a this is this is weird. This is a Nightwish video, but it's not a video. It's a, it's a lyric video, because uh, from what I've gathered, from what I, I what I understand, um, there's like some kind of significant meaning to this song regarding uh, past people in well person in the band and someone else's affinity toward them or their disdain towards the person that that other person was with I I don't know I don't know the whole story I just know what I read briefly on Google yeah so I, I guess because of those factors they vowed to never play the song live or you know make a video for it. Wh whatever the case may be it's there's there's a lyric video and that's about it so um i'm gonna react to that and that'll be uh it'll be cool to you know follow the lyrics along or whatever and see what it is for myself yeah so also in the last video you may remember me talking about the whole when i flashed back to the thing that i wanted to i've been wanting to get but just haven't been able to get because i kept, kept losing bids on ebay and i said because of a very generous contribution to the channel that I was finally going to be able to get that well I did not get that and some of you I know probably saw my community tab you know when I was talking to everybody and uh, I showed my rig I did not get the camera that I initially wanted the Panasonic Lumix G7 now I am glad because what I did end up getting was the Panasonic Lumix G85 which is infinitely better uh, for so many reasons and lo and behold this is it this is the Panasonic Lumix G85 now I have not had a chance to play with this I haven't uh, done anything with it yet so um, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit before I post some videos using this because I gotta figure out how to how, I gotta learn how to use it. But en enough about that. Let's just let's just get into this reaction. All right. Again, this is uh this is Nightwish. Uh, the song is Master Passion Greed. I don't know if I said that before, but um, you know that's that's the song. All right. So here we go. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is set the image quality to RAW. Hold on. Go to the menu, go to this top menu, and then arrow down to quality, wait, and make sure you have this set all the way to RAW. Wait, now wait, this wait. of course only applies if you Hold shoot on. RAW and you go down to quality. Wait, no. Menu. Alright, the first thing we're going to do... Okay, sorry, I know I'm already pausing, I just, I missed that whole first part. Okay, wait, I've got the power on. Okay, so go to menu. Okay, here we go. All right, now we're cooking. Do is set the image quality to raw. Go to the menu, go to this top menu, and then arrow down to quality, and make sure. All right. You have to set all the way to raw. Okay, so quality. All the way down to the wall. All right. Now this, of course, only applies if you shoot raw and you edit your shots in a, in software on your computer or on your iPad, and you want the best quality. Um, if you're just getting shots out of the camera, just stick to the highest quality JPEG setting, which is this uh, this top setting. But I'll be setting mine to raw. Okay. The next setting I'm going to change is burst rate. 
There's a big advantage to using M instead of H or SH on this. Wait, where if you're shooting an M, you get continuous oh, autofocus tracking available. Where the fuck did you find available. burst rate? Hold and on. Instead of H or SH. But I'll be setting mine to raw. Okay. The next setting I'm going to change is burst rate. Where? How'd you find that? Where? Okay, not aspect ratio. Where? Where? Oh, burst rate. Okay. So go to burst rate. All right. So, what does he do from there? There's a big advantage to using M instead of H. Are you stupid or something? I don't know if he's talking about these settings for photography or for video Can use. I come? Like this is this is crazy. Like I could be totally setting up my camera to someone else's uh you know preferences for like photography and will be absolutely completely useless to what i want to do with video like i might not even like his preferences for photography if i was a photographer like i don't know i'm just kind of going in this on blind faith what am i doing well yeah uh all in all I thought that was a that was a, uh, it was a great song. Uh, the lyrics really powerful. Um, it's really good. Uh, you know, I'm 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 very impressed with how well that went. Um, uh, the music, the the guitars, the vocals, the drums, um, the bass. You know, the, all the instruments. It, it was good. I really really liked it a lot. And, glad that I had the opportunity to read all those lyrics and understand the, the song. Really impactful. Alright, welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel, whatever the case may be. This is going to be another reaction from the Patreon request series. Uh, this song came requested by Skull Collector, and uh, this song is Nightwish, Master Passion Greed, from my understanding uh there 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 are no live videos that exist of this like they are never going to play it live or never have played it live or never will play it live i don't i don't know uh, apparently you know we're gonna we're gonna be watching a lyric video and you know i i read a little backstory on the song and you know kind of what it's supposed to to mean um and it's uh it's kind of, de kind of de depressing a little bit. I mean, to, to be honest. I mean, just from being in bands and like, you know, seeing members like change and lose losing members, you know, because of other people and things like that. It it it's just it's kind of sad, but. You know, this song is supposedly like really good though. So, um, you yeah, know, I'm 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 here for it. I'm anxious to see what what's what we got going on. And since there's not anything to really observe aside from the lyrics, um, this video may not have many pauses. Let's uh let's see what we got. I lied. Okay, so right out the gate. This is what I would have done. And I'm not criticizing this this person much. A little bit. I, I am. I'm sorry. Um, I would have had this display, uh, the album cover, whatever this graphic is, at the very beginning like I would have had that for a second and then I would I would have had it dulled down a lot darker and you know I maybe would have stuck with red text but I would have chosen perhaps a different font or gone bold with it and put like a white drop shadow behind it because what they're going what's going on now with, with the red and then the the big red kind of moving behind it. Um, that's from Windows Movie Maker 6. Like, I was doing that exact same thing, like, 
back in 2010, 2009 even. I've got videos from 2009 where I was using that in Windows Movie, Windows Movie Maker 6. Um, but just from a visual perspective of like trying to be able to read the lyrics and keep up and everything being clear and non-obstructed and just... I, I, I can already tell just from this graphic that it, there's like even passion I mean I know it says master passion greed so it's easy to read because I know that's what it says but you know I don't know the lyrics to this song so it could potentially be difficult to read especially when you can't see out of your left eye I like that riff. Pretty simple, but it's heavy. <laughs> no, I'm not, not going to be doing many pauses at all. So that, that synth that came in, that little synth line, I wasn't expecting that, but that was sick. And not to shamelessly self-promote or anything but that kind of sounds like stuff one of my bands does um i don't know if you if you've heard of angels on acid my michael usually writes a lot of stuff that sounds like that it's really cool um i want to hear that again So I like the uh, little high register guitar riff going on, kind of in the in the background ish. Some of, okay, so the lyrics are kind of going. They kind of make sense to the to the story that I, I read. What what I've heard about this particular song, the circumstances surrounding it. Um, some of it, like, I, I'm not really following. It doesn't, like, necessarily make the most sense to me. And, uh, some of the lyrics seem weird. It's just me being hypercritical. But, I mean, all in all, um, the, the music's not bad. Like, some of the riffs are, are, were really, really cool. Like, the faster, just, like, 
yeah i don't know there wasn't a lot going on with the riff but just that style of riffing is uh it's always fun Let's talk about it. You guys can jump down there in the comments and tell me if I'm incorrect on this or if you have more information or know, you know, what's going on. But just from that last line, and I'm assuming this song is, is about however you pronounce her name, Tarja. Is that right? I'm assuming that's. But it sounds like this guy was maybe, maybe a little more than just, uh, you know, band, bandmates. Like, it sounds like maybe he might have secretly and not so secretly maybe been a little bit in love with her. I don't know. It's just speculation. But I'm saying, like, that was a pretty bold line for, you know, to not have some kind of deeper emotion or connection on some kind of romantic level you know maybe again this is speculation I could be way overlooking this or overthinking this I mean I could be looking into it way too deeply is what I mean to say Let's take a moment and read that together, shall we? With awakening, the tears will begin. To my everlasting shame, silence took me. Now, again, I'm just speculating. I could be totally wrong, completely oblivious to what's actually going on. But what this says to me, from an outside perspective of someone who is not really that familiar with Nightwish or the situation aside from reading one article that I found on Google what this looks like is he is feeling shame and remorse for not professing his love to her and her going with someone that was not good for her as he feels he would have been 
had she been with him instead and by not saying anything and this other dude getting her this other dude like totally fucked everything up and now this is like his guilt to live with right am I wrong I, I don't know I don't know you know where the comment section is let's talk about it That whole last section, after uh, the part that we, we need to get down to comments and talk about, when you talk about it, um, that section was really intense, and it that sort of pulled me in in a way I wasn't expecting. You know, th I it's no secret that I do not like symphonic metal. I've never been like a huge fan of symphonic metal in any way, shape, or form. Now, granted, there are moments, certain instances or aspects of it in certain songs where I, I can find that I appreciate it. You know, it, it, it may be one bar in, in a 20-minute in a song. I mean, I, I'm, I'm throwing out random numbers here. But, like, there could be a 20-minute song. It could have one bar that just does something really cool. And I'm like, oh, my God, that was amazing. But then the rest of the song will be like almost unbearable to listen to. You know, and that's not always the case. I'm just saying. This song, you know, it didn't really have any moments where I was like, oh God, I don't want to listen to this. But it didn't have a, like, it didn't really like take me somewhere magnificent where I was like, oh my God. Uh, but it was, it, it was, it was good. There were parts of it that were a little better than good, <laughs> above average. But that ending sequence, after that last verse, the, the one we need to talk about, um, where it just it kind of was building up and it, it had like a really progressively dark vibe to it. It's like it got a little darker and a little darker, more instrumentation was added. Um, it sounded like some kind of like Persian battle emergence, like something out of the 100. That whole ending sequence the whole section was awesome like I really liked that I mean I don't know what else to say about it but you know it just I, I was impressed with that you know all in all um, it, it, the song it, it was, it was alright it was better than I expected uh, I, I enjoyed it I think and um I am curious to know more about this story, though. If, you know, I know plenty of you know a ton about Nightwish and can probably give me all sorts of different perspectives and information, you know, to make this more, you know, spill the tea, as they say on the YouTube channels. So, yeah, uh, if you're new and you don't know me and you don't know my channel and what I do, take a moment and find out. Take a few moments. Take a few videos and learn. Best way to do that. Right now. Free of charge. Is to hit the subscribe button. Become part of the community. Join the moral militia. And pledge your allegiance to the channel. Good people of the, the interweb. interweb.